Hello guys, I am back again with another brand new Call of Duty mobile video and today I am going to talk about 3 Amor, the things that makes him so good at sniping and more. So without wasting any of your time, let's get into the video. 3 Amor is indeed one of the best snipers in Call of Duty mobile. It's proven by the clips and live stream of his sniping. His playstyle is flashy and is hard to emulate if you are a newcomer to this game. Now, there are three things that I want to talk about that are important in order for you to understand what is happening under the hood. First is his cross replacement. This is by far, I think, the biggest aspect on why he could execute those crazy snipes. Don't rebut me such things that he is only good because he's playing on an iPad. It gives him an advantage, blah 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 blah. Like bruh, the dude has broken hands. And you think that would give him an advantage? It's spectacular how 3 Amor can perform at a competitive level even though he has broken hands. Now getting back to the main point. As you can see from the clips that are playing on your screen, go pay attention. 3 Amor's crosshair is always pointing in the middle and where he thinks his enemies will come through. His game set is a contributing factor as well. He knows where exactly to aim, what exactly he should do in any type of situation that may occur. Stop asking me how to develop such good game sense, because in reality, the only way to have good game sense is to play this game at a constant basis. Now that we have talked about his cross replacement and game sense, let's talk about a rarely tackled aspect of his gameplay, which is his movement, and why does this even matter? I mean, you can slide jump all throughout the game, well, actually no, that does not work that way. In doing proper movement schemes, you can't just waste your resources into slide jumping all the way through. You want to be making your opponents miss their shots and catch them off guard. You should move according to the situation and again, game sense is a factor here. The last thing that I want to talk about is time. This is probably the most irrelevant thing that I will tackle. It might not make sense in all that stuff, but in reality, it is the most important. You must understand that in order to be good or in order to snipe like him, you must be patient in finding ways to improve. It takes time. It takes a lot of time to be good. It's not a one night stepping stone to greatness. So that is it for today's video guys. I hope that you have learned something or enjoyed. And if you do, please don't forget to press that like button, comment down below on what you'd like to see next, and subscribe for more amazing content. See you on the next one. Have a good day. Peace out.